we've already looked at this set of student survey data when looking at cross tabulation or contingency tables for a two by two uh, table. So the question that was being asked is, is there a difference in the way men and women look at their fingernails between folded, where you bend over your fingers to look at your nails, or flat, where you hold up the back of your hand flat in front of your face to look at them. So from the cross tabulation, we found that there was a difference in the preference between men and women. But to test this formally, you should carry out what's called a chi-squared test. Now you know you need to do a chi-squared test because this is categorical data against other categorical data. It's a contingency table, so you've got rows and columns which represent two different variables and two different properties. So let's carry out the chi-squared test. So you want to go to descriptive statistics and cross tabulations. So gender is the thing that's causing you to change the way you uh, check your fingernails. So exactly like that. So in this case, the x-axis is your rows and your columns are your y-axis, your effect. Now, if you click on the statistics button, statistics allows you to calculate all these particular properties. And the thing we want to calculate is the chi-squared value. Let's continue. I'm just going to calculate the percentage for each row, which makes it clear what's going on. And then I press OK. So now you can see there's 140 people in the data set. You can see that 8.6% of men check it flat, 91% check it folded, 37% of women check it flat, 62.9% check it folded. So that means there's a much stronger preference amongst women to check their fingernails when flat compared to men. They're still twice as likely to check them folded compared to flat, but the proportion is much higher. So I can see if it is statistically significant. I've asked it to do the chi-squared value. So when SPSS does chi-squared, if it's a two by two table, it will also calculate this thing, which is Fisher's exact. And it will calculate not only the chi-squared, but a continuity corrected, Yates continuity corrected chi-squared value as well. So this 10.204 or 8.889, these are the test statistic values. This one for the chi-squared, this one for the Yates continuity corrected chi-squared. And these are the p-values for those tests. If the p-value is less than 0.05, it's significant. This one is 0.001, so that is highly significant. Continuity corrected is slightly larger, but still is below the threshold of 0.05. So there is a significant difference between the way men and women check their fingernails.